What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back playing EU4 once again, and we're part of the biggest name clan. We're playing Congo. We are bigger. Our name is bigger than Russia, right? I think so. It looks like it. Anyways, on the last episode, we have just... We, we're gearing up. We're in the home stretch. We gotta fight the Ottomans. We gotta fight Ethiopia. We gotta fight Denmark. And we might have to fight Great Britain. I say might because. So currently, come over here. We go to Threat and War. There. Sao Tome. We're only negative 23 away, okay? So we're getting closer from where we were at last time. Their only ally is Sweden. If I were to say... Break their alliance with Great Britain. Which they're not too far away. Then maybe Great Britain's relative strength of alliances would fall down. Let me go ahead and, like, influence Sweden. See how that goes. Um, what else do I want to do? Disloyal Estates, we already know about that. Um, let me build some more boats real quick. Oh, I don't have enough uh, sailors. Alright, 1716 is the magic number. Demands for representation. A number of hostile publications have begun to circulate in the cities of Congo. Anonymous yet very critical authors claim that our government's government is autocratic and demand both a written constitution and a parliament where the various parts of our country can be represented. Ban the publications or make vague provinces, promises of reform. Vague promises. I like my 75 admin power, thank you very much. Nobles worried. Ugh. With our army increasingly focused on quality, there are concerns from the traditional army, loyal to them first to the country, and the country second, is gone forever. Fortunately, they are even more worried that this new ar army model will pr prove a most compelling argument against any overly loud complaints. Nobles are especially worried that their positions may be threatened. There is nothing to worry about. Ugh. At least my stability is still above one. Tunisian separatists and Funge separatists? Well, Tunisian separatists popped out right there. And fun separatists popped out in, once again, the wrong neighborhood. We are third in score. Economic policy. Uh, we have to refuse to change the trade policy. can't really call a diet because that will um, put them above that. So we're just kind of stuck here with people hating me for a while, which is fine, but I don't like it. I just want to be loved. I just want a little respect. New world colonization rights. Thirty-five months left on this. I have a free diplomat that I should probably use. Fifty-one ducats. I can probably afford seventeen ducats a month. Discipline, land force limit, or land land maintenance. Actually, I wonder. Okay, forty-nine seventy-nine right now. If I hire her, him, the other one was her. It's what a month tick. Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't have a missionary going, which is... What? A ducat? But, like, she almost pays for herself. Or he almost pays for himself. This is a man. This is the woman. I could also build some more troops to make my, uh, maybe get Britain to throw, throw their stuff towards me. Let's go ahead and do it with mercs. Oh, actually. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not fine. Do it like that. Royal fires. Let's bring the national unrest down a little bit. Lost the Inquisitor. There it is. Nope. There it is. Can I get a half price dude from somebody? Let's take the Inquisitor still. Keep that missionary strength up. down. All my allies like me. We are at war with Russia. So many more things to convert. I could take military tech seven years early. I don't think I'm going to do that. Don't think that's what's going to happen. Eight more years. spread out all my dudes onto these provinces, but well, let's see. It's probably better than just letting these things all rise up. Especially when I'm not using them. Already got somebody there. Tlemcen. Yao mad. Heretic royalty. Demanding representation. You only keep 999 saves still. Even with the institution tech penalty?
comet sighted. If only we had comet sense. Bump that back up. At full absolutism. Is there a university here? By chance? There is. Fantastic. Eighteen months left for the Age of Absolutism. Royal Fires. Let's keep the unrest down. Because we've got a healthy amount of it. Conversion's done. Oh man, we have so much more to go. And these convert add zero to the national unity. Well, then don't do that. Do the ones that at least get us there. I'm making a month right now. 58 and 494. More conversions done. Oh, not that button. Yeah, at least do the ones that get us 0. 0.10. We should do that 0. 0.40 for sure. That's 0. 0.70. Get us back up to 100, then we can convert whatever we want. <laughs> Native assimilation? Assimilation? A... Oh! Denmark integrated Norway. That's fantastic. Return home. Now let's see if I can just threaten war for it. Oh! We are literally one away. Um... Time to build some more troops.
know what? I'm gonna lower. Well, no, let's leave maintenance up right now. Age of revolution. Age of revolutions. The questioning of rights, authority, and the world itself during the Enlightenment has read to, led to the rejection of the ancient regime. And as absolutism, as absolutism gives, ra gives way to revolution, kingdoms may have to make place for republics. Parliament, have a government with a parliament. Emperor, become emperor of the Holy Roman, Roman Empire, or form your, form your own emper, empire, I should have that. Powerful subject. High discipline, I should have that one as well. Large capital, I may not have that. Great leader. And control institutions, and I have that one. France has entered into a golden era. Yeah, I have em emperor, I have control institutions, and I just need to develop ten in my capital to have that. What can we get out of this? Anti-revolutionary zeal. Liberty desire for subjects. Napoleonic warfare. Art artillery bonus versus fort. That's not bad. Improved force march. Naval engagement. Unrestricted conquest. Ignore coring distance. Improved artillery range. Artillery damage from back row. That's really good. And loyal subjects. Don't need that. Prussians can get... Uh, Lord Fire Damage, British can get Naval Maintenance Modifier, Russia can get plus 20 states, and Austria can get plus 5 dip Diplomatic Reputation. So we're probably going for this, I think. I shouldn't need this at all. This is pretty good too, but Ottomans don't have very many good forts. Um... Turn on development cost real quick. Eh. How much does it cost here? 90. So it would save us an extra 9. 7, 8. Need two more. Two more clicks of that. Nine, ten. Do I not have 125% discipline? I have 122% discipline. So close. Is there any other places I can get discipline at? I don't think so, actually. It's probably about as high as I can get it. Okay, so we're waiting for these troops to be built and see if we can threaten war against Denmark. Hot chocolate, price of cocoa goes up. Did you build all the cannons in one territory? No. Okay. I should stop being paused. Okay. Now that all those guys are built. Denmark. Give it. Yes. Perfect. There's one. Sweet, we don't have to fight them anymore. Now if we can just convince Great Britain to do the same. Should I convince Sweden to break their alliance with them? Close. If we got our trust higher, we could. Ugh. Lose one stab. Gain the stab back. States demand control of provinces. Clergy wants a little more. Close are we to getting Great Britain to say yes? Negative sixteen. I don't have enough room to make another full stack unless I. Wow, we've almost got three hundred thousand men. 
It's a lot of men. Just to wonder, what would it look like if I were to declare war on Great Britain? Probably not great. Russia and France would join. Sweden would not. Bakmanis would not. Sweden would join in on their side. Yeah, I think I need to get my trust up higher with Sweden. So that I can then have them break their alliance with Great Britain. And we definitely want this artillery damage. Uh, there was like a 0.7 one that I wanted. There's the 0.4 one. Give me this 0.7. For sure. Losing generals. This must be the... Should be troops there already. There is. Yeah, now I'm not making quite as much. They're not going to fire for a while. Let's lower our maintenance some. So we're making some money. We're making a solid bit out of trade. 126 ducats out of trade. Fill our coffers. 2,000 gold. Uh, that's not the hardest thing in the world to do. I have a free diplomat. Sweden's probably at full. Yeah. Neighboring countries. Ethiopian revolutionaries. Gotten two achievements so far this run. And we're going to get more soon. Five more years till we can declare war on the Ottomans. Six more years till we can declare war on Ethiopia. And hopefully somewhere along the way we will be able to threaten war with Great Britain to get this province and not actually have to fight them. But all that will happen and more on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below as well as subscribe to the channel. And leave me a comment. How's Bengal doing? How did they freaking migrate all the way up over into here. That's crazy. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.